but it was nice to, like for that kid to not be afraid to come up to me whereas most kids are and like you said most yeah, parents like so drag them stars. away was open and um, the girls were outside but they were started barking so I went to shut the door, used the key obviously. Luckily I'm sat in the reading nook because it actually gave me a chance to actually check like who was coming in through the door and Dixie just before it was shut in got her head through and I had to shout at her to move because otherwise that would have shut on her head. Like, that is the closest call we've ever had before. And literally terrifying. I mean, she's okay. Because she wasn't stupid. She did move her head. But it's still really horrible. Just the thought of that is terrifying. I don't know why she didn't just come in when she heard it. She usually does. She wasn't going to the toilet or anything. She was just lo looking at the cats in the neighbour's garden, so I don't know what she was thinking, but now she's just like, come here. Now she's just a bit, look, feeling a bit sensitive. Thank you. Oh, you, you licked my eyeball. Yeah, I'm, I'm going now, Mum. But yes, it's nap time, so I've put some washing on, um, I've just got to spin that, and then, Albert, careful, and then after it's span a few times, I can put it out on the line to try, because it's sunny again, um, sorry about the camera, Albert keeps pushing my arm around, um, Pickle's throwing me two different toys here, um, but yeah, so nap time, we've just had to post, and I'm sure Charlie will probably go through that view later, um, Yes, so welcome to our morning. So I was just led here because I just can. So I just was. And then this little pony snuck in. Look how cute she is. She's so cute. Oh, I'm just going to get closer and cuter, man. Look how cute she is. <laughs> are you cute? Hmm, cause you are. And welcome to our day. Hi. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm looking at the camera. Fuss me, Mama. Fuss me. Literally. Rude. I looked out the window, oh god, my hair, oh god, I look like bloody Trump. Oh, no. <laughs> Fail! You're not okay with that. No. I looked out the window and it was really foggy. Like, when Sue put my meds in, uh, it looked really foggy. I took my meds, which takes, like, a few seconds. And the fog was gone. I've literally just picked up the camera and I'm looking out the window... And the fog is coming back. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just rude. Very. I'm so confused right now. It's like not nowhere near as clear as. Sorry. But she's tucking this thing at me. It's nowhere near as clear as what. 
It was when I picked up the camera. This is very strange. But it's Thursday. It's shopping day. I've just had another purchase on my walking on rainbows. Everything's good so far. Dixie's happy. Yes. Yes. So, let's get on with the day. So, I've just woke up and we're about to go shopping. I'm talking on the vlog. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, so if you said, do you want any some, some like socks? I was like, yeah, I'll have some fluffy ones because... I might give my AFOs a go, which AFOs are like rigid plastic splints. And um, they basically keep my feet, like my feet, they drop. I got like really bad foot drop because obviously my muscles are really bad from the EDS and muscular dystrophy and stuff. And I've not been able to wear them for a while. For an a number of reasons being I got like I put on too much weight for them to fit and I used to retain a lot of fluid in my legs like really bad and it was just so painful getting my legs in them well I've just put them on and not only have I got fluffy socks with them on but I've also got my thick jogging bottoms that I got on in the, them with them and that's just a, like a, a huge achievement and that makes me so happy they not collected it again uh -uh, no. well, I'll put in another complaint then so I'm going to show you now how how happy this makes me feel because they're purple and they've got butterflies on it's a children's design but I wasn't going to have no plain white ones so I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you guys look and I can even get my like fingers down there as well but look so there's like purple for cystic fibrosis in memory of Haley, and then butterflies which obviously butterflies are a huge thing for Sophie and I we every year we like grow them basically for Haley. but we also had like butterflies um at our wedding like that was the theme of it and they just mean a lot so, how cool is this? And also, when I used to put them on, I could never have my legs at like this 45 degree angle because my foot plates wouldn't sit proper, pro properly. So my feet would just end up like floating like this. They did, didn't they? I yeah. I'm actually quite impressed at how... So now that I've got the raisin yeah, foot plate... It's so much better. I can have it too. Woo -woo. So, we just got in the car and the our neighbors came out and um well she was out walking with two of her children and the dog and she said hello and we said hello back and she was just like um you enjoying the sun or something with it yeah and she we was just like yeah it's just like perfect we need more of it yeah. and <laughs> the next thing we know she's just like yeah, it just makes things easier, like no muddy, wet paws or anything like that. And we, as we got in the car, I'm like, so that's totally a hilarious, like, comment about the green. Because, like, Liz, everybody's on our side, apart from the two wankers that are over there. And I just chuckled and I said, that is totally a hilarious, like dig out to the people over by the green about it being all muddy and wet and puddle fied and crap like that yeah so said so said like to the extent that it's given her cheek pain where like she's smiling it's just absolutely hilarious although i have to admit it's this is a little bit too hot for me it is beautiful weather weather and i'm not complaining like for everybody else but personally for me because it causes me health issues now you're on, um, yeah and so said so especially now that I'm on doxy um, doxycycline is my antibiotic that I'm on for my chest and I can't be in the Sun because it causes skin reactions so I've literally got to try and avoid the Sun like the plague 
So in that sense, at the minute, it's like really bad timing because I need to get my chest sorted because it's just not happening. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer, but it is beautiful out there and it is really nice to see. It's like proper spring weather. But now we're off to Pets at Home, Poundland and Tesco's doing the last little bit of shop as part of the EU. We leave tomorrow. So it's just like, she's not happy at all whereas me i'm just like dead excited because it means that we're going to start fending for ourselves as a country they're going to start using british farmers to actually supply the uk with the food we shouldn't be needing imports and it means that we're going to be sorting out this situation about um immigrants and taking over all of our houses our jobs everything She said you say that, but when I was talking to Martin, her uncle, he's like really political and knows everything like about it, like so Dad does. According to him. He's, according to him, we get the statistics say that we get more immigrants from outside of the EU. But that's in terms of people from like um india um like china and things like that but we do get a lot of russians um polish people spanish french we do get a lot and i mean i'm not dissing like i'm not hating the fact that they're in our country but when they're in our country they need to if they're able to get a job they need to pay their way and like they need to actually be respectful of what our country does and not just come over and get free health and stuff like that which let's be honest majority of people do do that so i think it's fair play that if you're gonna like when we leave the eu that they've got to either like register and become a citizen or they go so if they really want to be part of Britain and the UK, they should become citizens and they should have to do everything we have to do. So that's just my little short, long and short of it all as a brief thing, but I'm dead excited about um, leaving the EU. I know it's going to be stressful for a little while, but America does it, like Australia does it, New Zealand does it, and look how amazing, like you get like some fantastic parts of these countries and Britain, we're just in the shit again at the moment. I think another part of the problem that I see personally. Another part of the problem that she sees personally is the fact that, the fact our, that government, our government, in, opinion, in her opinion, is going to fail us. Is going to fail us. Uh, if Theresa May stays there, yeah, she's she's royally fucking us over. But these shit politicians, they will end up going. Like, look at Trump. He's even up for a spending like prison time for paying somebody off for some sex thing um so it it shit does it will happen but if caught out they they will end up getting lost and they will end up being kicked out with it by being like the leaders there are some very good politicians out there and you can tell within the uk that pretty much all of the MPs and people part of the government at the minute, they do not believe what Theresa May is doing, which is why so many have resigned in a short space of time. So if people that don't follow her ideas leave, which they are, it's just going to mean that there's not going to be a following and she's just going to have to step down. However, if all of, her, if all of the politicians... Speak up. Don't... Don't support her are leaving no matter what nobody's around to actually stop her no but it'll go to um a public vote because of there not being enough of difference like people within like mps in parliament if there isn't enough of the, like each team in each section then those sections cannot progress or like if everybody leaves the the nhs political side of it and there's nobody then to control 
the NHS and then something else happens for another area and another area and another area, then the Queen and stuff like that could say, look, hang on, you're failing the UK, you got to go. So that although it will be shit in the meantime, it, it can get better. And I think everybody's seeing the true side of Theresa May about the fact that she's screwing over this whole deal situation with Brexit. So fingers crossed, she can get the boot and the UK can just thrive as a country and we can support our own farmers and, yeah, just be amazing. I just saw an advert in Iceland and it looked like they had unicorn... They do. Maynard, I think it is. Unicorn squidgy sweets, I did see those. Yeah. So we're going to go into Poundland and Pets at home and we'll see you in a bit. We just came out of Poundland and while we were in there there was this little girl and she saw my rubber duck and she was like playing with it and um was just really really sweet with it and then every time we saw her she was playing with the duck again and like the mum thanked us for like being nice and like Sophie and I both turned and said like to each other afterwards that it was actually nice that she wasn't trying to pull her child away because I'm in a wheelchair which is what a lot of parents do and then um when we were waiting for like the tills, her mum was at one and we were just like in a queue and she came over again playing with the duck and I started um, pointing at the colours for her to try and fit, like say what the colours were and she did really well, she got every single one and um, then her mum was just like, oh did you see these other rubber ducks? And I was like, I did and we can't have them, they're too big. They're the ducks that I showed you guys in the vlog like a few days, well probably a few weeks ago now and um, she turned and said, like, as the girl was going with her mum, she gave her, like, my duck a kiss, bless her. And um, her mum was just like, oh, I think I need to get you a spotty rubber duck. <laughs> it was just really sweet. Um, but it was nice, to, like, for that kid to not be afraid to come up to me, whereas most kids are. And like you said, most yeah, parents, most like, drag sort of them away. Instead, yeah. So, yeah, it was quite nice. Um, so, yeah, we're about to go into pets at home. See you in a bit. One thing I found was the... I'm just on my way to Tesco's now. We've just finished up Pets at Home about and One thing I've noticed about the sun is there's so many polite people out. Like, everyone's like, you're welcome and thank you. And just so, like, chatty. Why is it that, like, just because the sun's out, everybody becomes friendly? It's just really weird. Um, whilst Sophie and I were out getting a drink when we were talking to you last about the little girl there were some teenagers like, literally like 12 or 13 in the um, in a car next to me um, uh, like next to where we were parked having our drink and they are the sort of girls that both Sophie and I would avoid like the plague um like when we were in school like they would be the ones like they were shouting out all these like the like kids that went to the school with them they were like shouting out their names and um like they were vaping and being ridiculous with a balloon and like like saying like rude comments and was just like oh my god i didn't need to mean to say that it was like well you did you wanted to get attention but like they were the sort of kids that we would just avoid because they would be so horrible and like loud and in your face and like they're clearly they're like the popular kids that are just like not the sort of people hi self um they're not the sort of people that um i would like i would cross the road to avoid them and um so said that that's like what she would do as well it's just it's just horrible. Um, I mean, I got bullied like hell in school. It was not pleasant. I got stabbed um, with a knife. I got knocked out God knows how many times. Um, had doors belted into my head. Um, literally, every day I went in, something happened to me. And it was just awful. Um, but the problem is, I couldn't change school because the, like, the next the school that was next closest um the people that bullied me at my school they 
um, they were all friends with them in the Asaba school. So it just cha like change over and I would just get it all again in the new school. So I just had to deal with it. Um, and that's why when I when it was time to go to college, I literally went to a college nobody went to that like like nobody that I knew from school was gonna be going to and I just left as soon as I could to just get away from them because it was just horrific. I absolutely hated school. So I know being down in Cornwall now, obviously where Soph went to school as well, she got bullied like how as well. And I'm just glad that we are not near any of those schools now, which are the potential ones that our children would go to. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for now. And I'm literally just in Tesco's car park on my way to find Soph. I do like to um, come across in my chair when we're doing like from one end to the other because it's it's close by. We don't have to then deal with like trying to strap down my chair and things. And I don't know, it's just nice to be out in it for a little bit. And because I go fast in my chair, I get a nice cool breeze. So we're going to go into Tesco's. We'll see you in a bit. We're still in Tesco's. And because I've got my splints on, normally when we get these water, like my feet either hit the floor or they hit the wheels. But now that I've got my splints on, I'm going to show you what it really does now. Look. There's, no, there's nowhere near them and there's nowhere near the floor either. I've got to be careful that I don't pinch my skin. I don't think I will because my legs don't really move that much on their own. But look how much safer it is. There they are. Oh shit, they saw the cat. Girls! <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Look at her bound, guys. Hey! Beautiful. <laughs> guys! Look what Charlie did! <coughs> she made it gizmo safe. So he can come back out again. <coughs> Look, I mean it's a little bit makeshift, but Works. we're okay with that. <coughs> Look, he's got nice lots of herbs and a random carrot <coughs> in there. It's okay. Yay, so now I'm gonna go get the boy. Now I've got pictures I sent at her. So, I forgot to share with you, I had another keyring sale from Walking on Rainbows. And I think this is now my fifth sale. Yeah, because one person bought two things. I'm just going to eat this box right here, Mum. I was very intrigued. And this is a lady that, she said she wanted to buy it a few weeks ago, but she didn't have the money. And you know, you kind of get that feeling like, oh, is that just your way of saying, actually, I, I don't want it anymore? Because that's what I do. I have to admit, I, I do do that. So, like, especially when somebody says, oh, it's this amount. And I'm just like, oh, well, I haven't got the money at the minute. Because <laughs> that's just what you do to get out of things. Well, she came back today. And I, obviously, I saved a tassel for her because I asked her what colour she would want and things like that. And her daughter's name, or this person's name, is Sophie. I think it's her daughter. And she wrote it in January. And she, th I, we think this might have been the first time she ever wrote her own name because the date that she wanted it given, uh, wrote on the back, was in January. And I just thought it was a little bit of a, a, like a strange like date otherwise. But it was this orange tassel, which is pretty darn smexy. Yeah, and then this is the the right end. You can just kind of work out it says Sophie. Obviously, that doesn't really look like an S, but um, yeah, 
that when when the woman sent me the picture, she was just like, "Oh, I hope you can figure out which bits are her name." I was like, "Yeah, I've I've worked it out," and it's not really showing very well. There will be a picture at the end, like I always do at the end of each vlog, after the little passage reading thing that we do. And then I've got this rope. Trying to... Oh. Is it going to work? I know what I'll do. I'll turn the camera around for you to see it. There you go. Well, there you go. So there's the word that says Sophie. And that's, that's, I mean, the rest of it is really good. So obviously that's just a bit of a mixer for uh, for so the S. And then I changed the text around and tried a different writing tonight. And that's what I came up with. So yeah, I, I really like this one. Um, and then obviously the, the, um, the orange tassel. But yeah, that's, um, so yeah, my sixth creation. Actually, I did do a giveaway, um, on Our Angel Bears. That's when I first started engraving. So I've actually given away seven actual little, like, engraving things like this. And I gave my mum and my sister um two engravings of the picture of our nephew Zach so I've given them for Mother's Day as well so if you add those up as well and I've done lots of engraving but for actually given to people um there's not been a huge amount but I've only had that walking on rainbows page like a couple of weeks and I've got like 132 people on like on the group now and Obviously, I've had quite a few sales, so I'm quite impressed. It makes me happy. I've had more sales now and more interest now on my Walking on Rainbows page than I ever got on my Etsy page. And I think it's because on Etsy, it's just... you either going to get noticed or you're not. Um, whereas with the Facebook page, I shared it to all like the big buy and sell pages, like um, the big cities, like Bristol, London, Manchester. I shared it amongst them. Um, so, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. It makes me smile. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear her tail. <laughs> it's this beautiful beast. <laughs> Are you gorgeous? Oh, yeah. All I can hear is thug, thug, thug. Yes. say if you never had any pillows we have had pillows but we've always been given them whereas today we purchased ourselves a touch of luxury they are ginormous whoop, I mean, whoop. that did nothing you just raised it out at the sight of the camera I mean, they they were fully in the camera before you know Please don't. Why? Because you're messing it up. <laughs> but yeah. Turn it to the side so I'm how thick. Obviously, there's two in here. Oh, yeah. But. And. Oh, 
and whoop, whoop. they reinflate and they're good and they're a touch of luxury. We'll let you know how we sleep. Whoop, whoop. Pillows are in the sparkle and shine cases. And Sophie's brushing the dirt out of Alba's tickly toes. <laughs> And now they're not tickling. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bless her. Gotta get that mud out. But it has been one hectic day. And if all goes to plan, <laughs> in a few hours, we will no longer be part of the EU. I keep saying it and so it's like, oh, for God's sake. And I'm just, I'm just, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, party tomorrow. No, I'm joking. You're showing the people this. Hang on, hang on. There still was some mud in there. Is she tickling you? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't tickle now. It doesn't hurt. That was the wrong word. Yeah. Bless her. That's rude. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have the energy and no headache to be able to finish with the last bit of dyeing my hair just before Mother's Day. Hey! We'll see. We'll just when I've got like that little weird like pressure in my head again tonight. Yeah, I'm kind of planning on doing um, a little picking as well. So yeah. Like you, how you're feeling, and what we're going to be doing. If it's hot, we'll have to do it later in the evening when it's a bit cooler. So we'll just have to see how the day goes. Yeah. But for now, we're going to go pamper the pooches with more brushing. We did buy some stuff at Poundland, but we're going to show you that tomorrow because today's vlog's already quite long. Um, and yeah. That's been our day. What have you been up to today? Let us know one thing that's made you smile in the comments. What's made you smile today? Getting gizmo out. I was out. just going to say that exact same thing. Yeah. That's what's made me smile today as well. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's been little things that's made me smile, but that's been the main yeah. thing that's yeah. really stood out to me, is being able to get them out again. Um, so, yeah. Um, no. Remember a few weeks ago in a vlog, I did a post about being fed up with being told about not going on the green because it's getting mud everywhere. Well, a few weeks before that, someone else put up a comment, and we read it to you actually, because you said it was pathetic that she was taking pictures out of her living room window about a little mud patch. Well, she's now clearly gone on to Facebook, hunted my post out, and just tagged, bless you, and just tagged this person, like, on my, my, my post. This random person who's not even part of the group. Yeah, and I put two question marks, like, as to say, what, why, why does, why are you tagging people on this post? Like, it's like move three, on. It's like three weeks Come on. Two, at least. And she's not replied to me and this person like I said wasn't even part of the group but now suddenly tonight she is part of the group added by this other person so I now I'm just like well what the hell's going on why why are you being so pathetic like come on you've got a little boy go love on him and go enjoy the fact that you've got a child who loves being playing outdoors and getting a bit muddy but no dear old Facebook pops up so we'll let you know if anything develops from that. We will indeed. But for now, I'm going to finish my nebs, take my meds. And I am going to finish trying to get mud from out between these baby girls' pictures. Yeah. So, oh, so thanks for coming on our day with us, guys. 
We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. So I'm just editing in the vlog. And I was trying to do some research at the same time about this whole Brexit stuff. And as of an hour ago, it's now been determined that instead of us leaving the EU tomorrow as planned, or well technically now because it's gone midnight, um, they're looking at holding another vote for sorting out this whole deal or no deal stuff. And Theresa May has actually stated that she's willing to step down if things don't go her way. So it's kind of a bit of a, a catch-22 because we want May gone, but we also want to deal with leaving the EU, so it's kind of which one's best. So it looks like as of now, we're still part of the EU. And the next Brexit date is the 12th of May, if the next deal is refused no sorry 12th of april if the next date is uh next deal is um like turned down or if there is a deal that has been agreed then it'll be the 22nd of may i think i read so we're still part of the eu until at least the 12th of april and then hopefully we'll find out more talk about leaving it to the last minute british government Timely reminders. The Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched over you as you travelled through this vast desert. For 40 years now, the Lord your God has been with you, and you haven't needed a thing. As the wilderness wandering years drew to a close, Moses knew he needed to instruct the Israelites one more one more time in God's ways and laws. As disobedience had kept Moses from entering the promised land, he knew this teaching was crucial. His sermons in Deuteronomy feel like a loving father's final talk with his grown children before they're on their own. In addition to teaching God's law, God's law Moses also recounted all God's mighty work towards Israel, even as they sinned and struggled, reminding the Israelites anew of God's love and grace to spur them to obey him out of love and gratitude. It's important to recount that God has brought you in your faith journey with him, for it encourage you, encourages you for the road ahead. Look back on your life. And like Israel, see how the Lord, your God, carries you, as parents carry their children. He carried you whenever you went until you came to this place. Daughter of God, he'll carry you now until the end. <coughs> Father, I will recount your goodness, relish the stories of your care to Lord. I trust you will be with me through everything ahead your grace does before me.